I never had uh, little motos like the scooters. My my parents didn't allow me to have one of those. But I had a dirt bike, like a 50, and um, started out with that. Put it aside for a while. Start riding. Try actually start out with trial bicycle and then BMX bikes. And then um, I stepped back to motocross and, and pretty much uh, sticked with it. I had nothing to do with like street bikes um, or Harleys or vintage bikes or choppers or bobbers till I was like, I would say 20, 26, 27 years old. So um, yeah, that passion came out of me having had that accident and I couldn't ride motocross anymore and I still wanted to, to work on bikes or to, to do something and to ride. I think basically it was like seeing the first episode, like a Jesse James episode and um, I never really was into Harleys because they look kind of you know, weird or funny to me, and, and you know, compared to a dirt bike, it was like too heavy and, and too fat and everything. And I saw his bikes, it was like, and how he even was riding the bikes was for me, like, wow, you could, you could have a bike which looks cool and which is rideable for my style, you know. And then I had a, I remember I had a shovel head and I just, I couldn't do nothing, you know, I had no idea what to do, so I, I changed an oil tank and, and, and the gas tank and the bars and I was riding like three seasons with that bike, then repainted it for, for like two years on the same bike. And then um, I learned more and more and more, I learned more and more craftsmanship, I learned more and more about bikes and then um, it kind of fell into fell together to, to that I started doing more and more and more, or bought, bought a new bike and, and then I had a flathead and then I did that DMX bike because of my BMX background and and it hit like well in both ways it hit the industry like you get a lot of props and you got a lot of shit at the same time which was good you know it's like you can't step into a game like this oh hello I'm here I'm building a cool bike you know and which is good you know it's it's a hard way to to get to a point where you get respected but you know, some people never will respect you or never have respect you. But I don't really care about that. You know, I'm 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 having fun, and I made my hobby. It's my job now, and and that gives me some like it tells me that I do something good. I think the, the, the biggest problem actually I have, and not a lot of people know about that, is like, is my, my brain, you have two brain parts and they're not connected. So I have no three-dimensional imagination. I can't imagine the way from here to Wankdorf. Oh, I live here for 41 years, but I cannot imagine that way. Even burn is so small. I can't, every time I tighten or I loosen a screw, I have to rethink how you lose, how you tighten. I'll do that 120 times a day or 200 times a day. So that was like I sucked in school because I, I couldn't calculate or couldn't imagine things in math how, how it's done. So it's the same with the bike. I, I cannot like sit here and have a complete full bike in my head. It's not going to happen. And I can't draw. I, I draw like a two year old. So I'm, I'm like, some clients were like, dude, <coughs> draw me what you want. And I, I was like, dude, I, I have to start on it. And like, like on that flathead, I made a gas tank, I made two gas, gas and oil in one, and like, and until it fits. You know, it takes, it takes forever. I mean, when I look, when you look at like all builders, they, they build from forever. You know, their, their parents were builders, their grandparents were into cars. Fuck, I'm, my dad was a painter, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not out of that thing. And these guys work as like twice or three times as fast as I can, you know, so it takes me way longer because I'm still practicing doing this shit and but I want to be f satisfied with it I, w I, made, I started like with six gas tanks and you know did one half or did like you know like a rough shape of it next 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 and then it gets along pretty fast that you got a line together which which you like and then 
when you have that role in chassis, you're like, fuck, was the, the, does it already exist? Like, I don't want to copy. You're like, and that mind fucks you all night long. You're like, uh, you can't sleep, you know? And then it's the color. What, what, what color are you going to do? That's for me the hardest part all the time, you know? Yeah. Are you going to chrome? Are you going to nickel, etc., etc. When you get this, it's the, for me the biggest and the, the most important thing is the finish. To like the finish of how it's done. And, and that was impressive when I was the first time in Japan. They, they finish their bikes like 100%. What you see a lot of bikes are nice, but when you look close, the, the finish is not like super, super nice. I never been in the in like in the middle like of the United States. I'd rather been like in New York or in in, in LA, right? So um, you just hear about like the what kind of redneck or whatever you know. It's like, but I met a lot of super friendly people there. Like we met one weird guy. We stopped in like a really small village and we saw a couple bikes outside a shop, and we went in there, and it smelled like 20 dead people. And the dude was like, oh, let's come in the back. And we were in the back, a half dead dog was laying on the floor. Dude, piss and shit everywhere. And it was like, oh, my buddy's the two artists. I call him up, you all get free tats. We were like, fuck no, dude. And he gave me, it's actually up there, a license plate, which you have when you have a garage, like a special license plate. He gave that to me. And yeah, I met a lot of cool people um, on the bikes, off the bikes. Um, landscape was, was breathtaking when you ride over the bridges and like big fields and farms. This is like, you know that from the movie Transformers, like, oh, you know. And, and I'm, I love nature, I've been on nature a lot and, and that was impressive. I mean, I had a great time, you know, there were cool people and um, I met cool people and it was, it, was, it was a good experience for sure. Oh, whoa, well, all right, we're on a Grimsel Pass. It's an elevation of 2,200 meters. It's like 11 million foot something. It's cold as shit, the wind is fucking... But it's beautiful. It's, I've been here once in my life and it's not a second time. And it's, it's fucking epic, it's cool. Good to be here. Thanks, Ed, for coming out. This one was like when I started out my like my business professionally. My cousin came to me. I haven't seen him for like 20 years, and he's like, "Dude, I have an old flathead, a WLJ." And I was like, "Fuck, I never heard of that." And it, I googled it and searched for it, and it came out that was Rikua Parts. When Harley sold the license to Japan to do flatheads, they called it. They took the license away, and the Japanese guys call it Rikua and keep building it. And this one is like. I never really knew, knew where the fork was coming from, but it's like I always wanted a flathead with a, with a front end like that. But we have to run it with the original Springer. So, well, basically, long story short, it's um, pretty much like fender all back, seat, back fender strats, pegs, etc., etc., is, is um, headlight. I modify a lot of parts on the engine. Um, there's a magneto. Electricity for the for the engine, but we have to have a light when the engine is not running. So I have a, a six volt circulation over a six volt battery gets charged from the I don't even know how you call it. So it runs with two electric circulations. So um, and yeah, I want to keep it flat, no sparkling, no flake, no easy. Like want to keep it a little bit old school and 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 vintage like. And um, yeah, this is kind of one of my favorites too. Yeah, this is my 89 FXR. And um, well, I put those cases on, the original like high patrol cases, because there was one reason. We leave here at noon, it's 30 degrees, and 25 minutes later on the elevation of 4,000 feet, it's like five degrees and snowing, and, and you're in the shirt and it sucks. I'm 41. I got a bag, gloves, tools, you know? and um, I would never take them off again. Never ever. I put it like I put a lot of like a lot of time in that bike to get the suspensions right because I'm used for motocross bikes. I'm having a suspension which fits my riding style, and I had a hard time to to dial that in. Um, now I'm pretty solid. I wanted to have an upside down 
um, front end, but it's not legal in Switzerland, so we can't have that. We cannot have chain drive. I would love to have chain drive. Um, I'm super happy with that hard case set and pro taper. I used to have pro taper when I was riding motocross, so I'm, I'm, I'm used to that bar to fucking see this cool. Um, I'm, I'm just, I just told uh, a guy came in the shop and was like, dude, uh, what would you ride in five years? And I was like, I think I found my bike which I will ride forever. And it will be either a Dyna or an FXR. I never really rode a Dyna for a long time or it was, was set up for me. But this is a bike you can ride fast, you can cruise, you can, you know, like, it, it is for, for everything of what I'm down for riding, this bike is, is perfect. And um, I think I will stick to FXR for the rest of my life. I look like a 12 year old Justin Bieber. Size, that's a, a, the original size of a newborn dolphin. See, listen and learn here. That's, that's my favorite picture in here.